This segment of Spotlight is brought to you in part by presenting sponsor, First Community Financial Bank, the community bank where you come first. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Spotlight. I'm your host, Jane Warnett, and I'm joined now by Genevieve and Chantal of Spanish Ladder. So welcome to the set. Thank you. Thank We're excited you. to learn about this organization. It's one that we haven't heard about before. So I'm going to start with you, Chantal. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Spanish Ladder. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Spanish Ladder is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization um, that we started uh, um, back in 1994 mm -hmm. and where we began um, bringing ed educational programs to uh, children in, in the community. And our, pro our, basic, our, our basic goal is to provide language acquisition through fun, interactive, engage, and engaging activities and opportunities for the students in the community. Okay. And the way we do that is that we have teachers that are native speakers, love teaching, love children, and really have fun doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's always so much easier to learn, isn't it, when you're having fun? Exactly. And yeah. that's exactly what we bring to okay. the classroom each week. Now, Genevieve, mm -hmm. why is that second language acquisition mm -hmm. so important? The benefits of learning a second language, honestly, Jane, are so limitless. Especially when learners start at a young age, they have an advantage because the brain is a sponge at that age. Second language acquisition, it boosts cognitive function, creativity, cultural tolerance, and it also, for young learners, helps them find self-identity. Okay. Right? So programs where, our program in particular, where students have an opportunity to learn a second language naturally and in context with their, we make connections to their daily lives, what they're learning in school, for example, they, the language comes to them more naturally, it becomes a part of their world. Okay. And our, our program really aims to offer that opportunity with an interactive curriculum and native speakers, as Chantal was mentioning, that too have gone through the experience of learning a second and lang third language before because many of our teachers are multilingual, bilingual, quadrilingual. And in some cases, it sounds like English is their second language, exactly. right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now, Chantal, mm -hmm. what schools are you involved with in the Naperville community? Oh in Naperville District 203, we could be fine that almost all of the schools, Kingsley, Highlands, Prairie, River Woods, um, Maple Brook, mm -hmm. Scott School, um, uh, River Woods. Did I mention River Woods? So mm -hmm. we're, we're in quite a few of the Naperville District schools, um, 203, um, in the neighborhood communities, such such as uh, right there, Plainfield, Plainfield District, uh, Glen Ellen, District 41. Um, we also could be found all the way in the Ch Chicago land area, okay. um, district, uh, which is called Bentonville District 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're pretty, yeah, you pretty got much your, out you, there. Yes, you're all over the we're, map. We're you're pretty, all over we're, the map. Yeah, we cover some Good. ground. <laughs> Good. Now, Jean-Vier, what age do you mm -hmm. support? You know, what, what, how old would I need to be to Definitely. come to your program? Well, our, our language programs are for learners of all ages. Many of our students, though, are preschool through grade 12. So they participate in at lunch or after school programs with tutoring classes. But we also have some students that are homeschoolers yeah. or adult learners. So our programs are very wide range and can serve those needs. And we're able to do that because our classes are offered and available year round so that students have easy access to our programs and learning a target language. We make sure that our teachers are always on site at the Neighborville local libraries offering tutoring and classes so that students for, can prepare for everything from class exams, let's say they're preparing for finals, or they just want to increase their skills or learn something new with reading, writing, speaking. Those are our core targets. And right now, our classes are offered in Mandarin Chinese and Spanish, and we also offer services in French, German, and Haitian Creole. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, you talked a little bit about most of your teachers, uh, that's their native language. So mm -hmm. where do you find your teachers? Where do your teachers come from? In mm -hmm. our community. Okay. In our community, in the Naperville schools, uh, they live, work, and play in Naperville. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to, to have that connection because then they're vested. Right. Mm -hmm. they, their kids go to the school, they understand what goes on in the school. So in every community that we serve, we try to hire people that 
belong to the community, that want to progress with the community. Well, and, and I would think, and you sort of touched on this point, but mm -hmm. it, is that why it's so important for you to be, for people to be aware that you're here in the community mm -hmm. and for Spanish Latin to be recognized within the community? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, because if you live in a community and you play and your kids, um, like Genevieve, grew up here. She went to the schools that where we're teaching. So it's very important for us as parents, as, as, as adults, to give back to our community. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for us, being here and being present, you know, have that presence is very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what really sets your program apart from some of those other mm -hmm. language acquisition programs? Right. I would definitely say that there, we could share a long list, but maybe we could focus on a few. So for one, our language program is so different from others because it's a small family run business. Right. This is my mom here. Okay. We run the program <laughs> together with my sisters, my dad as well. Everyone's very involved, right. but that means that the parents we work with, the teachers we work with have direct connection to us. Right. And we're the ones making improvements, setting up curriculum, Correct. and we're on site making visits to the school administrators so that we can stay heavily involved. In addition, many parents also tell us that they love the accessibility. So for our after-school programs or at lunch, the students will go directly from class to another classroom right. for language right. and making it so accessible for the parents to really share that benefit with their students. Right. So you, you talked a little bit, jean Viev, about mm -hmm. that. So if I'm in lunch, I could go to another, another classroom and I could mm -hmm. have the language acquisition. Would I be in a group? Would I be one-on-one? -on -one? What might that look like? You probably would be in a group setting at that point because mm -hmm. you're in school and you're having lunch while you're um, learning you know, the, the language, the okay. target language. So you're, you're learning. You may be meeting new friends because maybe you're a second grader and you have third graders that you might never interact, but now you are okay. interacting mm -hmm. with those third or fifth graders. And so it, it's creating a community within a community of students do, doing different things. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. So well, wonderful. that's a wonderful way to think about it and yes. bringing everybody together mm -hmm. through language. Yes. Because language can be a separator right. and it can be a joiner, right? Correct. Exactly. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to mention um, one other unique thing uh, about our program. We have had the fortunate, um, been fortunate enough to instruct in, in Bensonville District 2. It's a community of native Spanish speakers. And um, they, they hear Spanish at home, but they don't have the, the skills, the writing skills, the reading skills. And we've been doing this. We serve probably between 120 to 150 students each year in okay. that community. And I think that sets us apart because we understand that not only students that don't have exposure to a language need help to learn it, but even those in our communities that maybe the parents are speaking, but the kids are a little apprehensive about doing so. So we have mm -hmm. that fortunate uh, experience to be working with them since 2005. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I thank you both for coming by and telling us some more about Spanish Ladder. And we're excited because we know school's about to get going. Absolutely. So I'm sure it's going to be another good year it's for you. It's going to be a great year. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> if you would like to learn more about Spanish Ladder and how you can register for one of their programs, please go and visit their website. We're going to take a quick break for a few short messages, but don't go away. We're coming right back with more Spotlight.